And now for the printing. Printing comes in many shapes and sizes. We'll focus on photo quality inkjet printing in R1280. Specifically, we'll address the steps needed to print on our Canon Pixma Pro 1 printers. Please keep in mind the steps needed to print at home are similar. You'll just need to translate our settings for your printer's needs. After soft proofing your image on screen, it can be printed. In order for the printed result to match or closely match the on-screen version, you'll need to make sure the same printer profile is set to be used for both the soft proof and the printing. We will try to walk you through this step-by-step step here with our voices and the steps outlined here on this slide. Um, then as we read these steps, we're actually going to flip through and show you some pictures to show you what everything looks like. So hopefully with the combination of that, you guys will um, be able to truly understand what is needed to print and that you'll also be able to use our Canon Pixma Pro 1 printers um, confidently. Um, so as we go through these steps, uh, we also want to note that uh, we want you to come to campus and use these printers and be able to use them by yourself. Yes, that's the goal. So um, you may want to print these out before you come so you can, and we'd be more than happy to help you, but um, you'll be able to walk through these steps. Yeah, we're planning to have an open lab where you guys can come and print for whether you're taking this class online or on campus. And so you'll be able to come and when it's time to print, you don't have to make a reservation with a faculty for help. You can just go to that lab and your name will be on the list and you'll be able to print your projects. Okay, so let's start with step one. Turn the printer on. And this may sound like a super obvious step, but you do wanna do this right away because these printers take a long time to warm up and they also, you want them to be turned on so they communicate with the computer. Um, so the next step is another kind of obvious step, uh, but you want to open up the front delivery tray. And this is missed um, every once in a while, but it won't work unless that's open. I am guilty as charged. <laughs> and you also want to make sure that the rear delivery tray is open. And that's where you insert the paper. So step three is inserting the paper in the rear delivery tray. And you also, um, once the paper's in there, you want to make sure that the paper guides are closed and snug but not tight. And I'll also make a note here too that the printable side of the paper is facing towards you. And then you want this flap to be, to be closed. Yeah. I almost said flappy thingy. Sorry. <laughs> I think you should call it okay. flappy thingy. Flappy thingy needs to be closed or it won't print and you'll be like, what's going on? Yeah, so you'll need to open it when you put the paper in, but make sure that you close that flap again. Okay, then once that's done, um, go into Photoshop, choose File, Print from Photoshop, and then the uh, Photoshop Print Settings dialog will launch. So you'll want to choose the following settings. You want to change the printer to be the Canon Pro 1 series. Then press the print settings button to launch the print dialog box. You'll change the paper size to the size you want to print, which is eight and a half by 11 for our projects. Um, and you want to note you can print all the way to the edge of the sheet on our Canon printers if borderless is selected. And so it's, these, these fly out menus, they're longer than they probably should be or that we're used to, so it is kind of a longer process. You'll hit that paper size drop down, you'll choose US letter, you'll get another fly out, and I'll say, well, now that you are telling us you want 8.5 by 11, which is US letter, what kind of 8.5 by 11 do you want? And so for our example, we're just using the regular letter, but we could print all the way to the edge. That's one of the benefits of a, of a photo inkjet printer. Yes. And then you'll want to select quality and media from the layout drop-down menu, then change the media type to the type of paper you're using. So in our case, we're using the matte photo paper, and that will be available for you guys to use um, when you come in to print for class. Yep, but keep in mind, maybe three semesters from now, we might choose glossy or semi-gloss, and so when you get here, you will choose the paper that you were using at the time. And so if we switch to luster paper, you should choose the luster paper option from this flyout. Okay, so next here you want to make sure that the paper source is the correct tray. So we're using the rear paper tray and so then you want to make sure that that's set. In some printers you'll have tray 1, 2, and 3. In for our paper or our photo Canon printers here, we have the rear paper tray and the manual paper tray and so we always use the rear. 
Okay, so for the print quality, you'll want to use standard quality for our class. Then you'll select save to accept your changes and return to the Photoshop print di uh, dialog settings box. So there are a lot of steps, so you want to match what you're doing is essentially matching what you have in Photoshop with what the printer is going to be. So you want those to match. Okay, so the next you'll choose uh, Photoshop manages color from the color handling drop down menu. Uh, this activates the printer profile drop down menu. So then you'll choose the correct paper printer printer combo for the paper and printer you're using. So you'll want to choose the Canon Pro 1 Photo Pro Premium Matte. Um, and again, if it's a different paper, you would choose the printer and paper combination that you're using. And then we said earlier in the lecture that if you install a printer onto your computer, a bunch of preset print profiles should also be installed. All of these Canon ones that you see on the screen, they came pre-installed when we installed the printer. If we were to use some other paper beyond this, we would have to figure out which profile should be used for that paper. And so we just make sure we always buy the Canon paper so that it's easiest for our R1280 students. Okay, then you'll scroll down to scaled print size. You'll choose the size your artwork will print you leave the settings at 100% size unless you're scaling it for a specific reason. You do not adjust any of the other print settings unless doing so for a purposeful reason. Then I think with all that, you press print to release your job to the print queue. Finally, yes. And so for our example, I wanted to print the image really large so that you could see it. And so we chose scale to fit media. But for your class, unless you're told to scale it up or down, you should just print at 100% size. Okay, so when we hit print, this is what happens. So hit the print uh, option in the bottom right hand corner of the dialog box. Your Photoshop print settings dialog box will disappear. It will start processing on your printer. And when you're done, the page will come out of the printer where you open the flap to allow it to come out. And then we printed this project twice, right? And so we have kind of a bluey version on the left and a blue green version on the right. The version on the left has no color management. We just hit file print, we kept our fingers crossed, we hoped it came out nice. And to be honest, it's not bad, it's just not correct. And so when we look at it, it's a nice image, it's very blue. But when we look at the image on the screen and the way it's supposed to print, it's supposed to be blue and green, not just blue. And so the second time we printed the project, we chose the right soft proofing setting. We made adjustments to the image to make sure that what we we're seeing on the screen is what we would see when it was printed. And then when we printed, we synced the printer profile. So we chose the correct printer, the Canon Pixima Pro, and we chose the right profile that synced up to the matte paper that we're printing with. And that print looks exactly like it does um, in Photoshop. Yeah, and so I can jump over to Photoshop and show you that picture so that you're, you're kind of connecting those dots. So if I open the picture that we wanted to print before, it's this air bubbles image here, you can see that it's supposed to be blue-green. It's not supposed to be all, all blue or all shades of blue. Okay, that's all I have. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Whitney, before we wrap up this lecture? No, I think that covers it. Okay.